Hey, it's Mel here from simplylive.com.au. I hope you can hear me okay. It's night time here in Valencia, beautiful, beautiful Valencia. And uh, I'm really sad to be leaving here tonight. Uh, I've been here for two weeks. I've been here for a month. I stayed here for a month before. And I just love this city. And it just was just occurring to me, and I can't walk too far as I talk because it's, I'm on a really major road here, as you can probably see. So they've got beautiful parklands everywhere in Valencia. And this is one of the busier roads. So you've got three lanes on one side, three lanes on the other, but a lovely park in the middle to separate the two. Loads of trees. Spain, Spain is not renowned for trees in cities and towns. And, um, you know, certainly up a few streets, but this street is a really green city and it has a beautiful, magnificent park that wraps right the way around the city. And it just occurred to me, and, and this is one of the things, is that when you travel, you just find places that resonate with you. And I would recommend to anybody to visit Valencia. It's, it's not one of the cities that people think of in Spain. They think of Barcelona, Madrid, uh, Sevilla. Um, and, you know, great for various reasons. And not many people think to come to Valencia. Uh, a lot of people go down to Malaga and along the Costa del Sol and those sorts of areas as well, for sure. But this is, I don't know, and I can't put my finger on why. I can't, I can't say to you, you've got to come to Valencia because of this. Yes, it's green. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, but so Sevilla, Sevilla is spectacularly beautiful and I like it and I love it too. There's no two ways about it. But if you ask me to pick, I would pick Valencia. Why? I'm not really sure. It just has this beautiful energy. It feels great and it's pretty and it's green and the people are really, really friendly, like super friendly. I was here for a month last year, been here for two weeks now and people are just so warm here. There's this beautiful energy here that I really like and that's all I can tell you really and I'm just trying to show you bits of it as I'm walking around. Um, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing I can say that he's here is any better than anywhere else in Spain, you know, and yet there's something special about this place and it's very inexpensive. The public transport is great, the airports are great. So if you have the opportunity, uh, put Valencia on your to-do list. But, you know, the big thing is to, it's just finding those places that you resonate with for some reason and sometimes that's really hard to define. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit more of the city as I, as I scroll around. Um, and this is not the main old town, the main old town is just spectacular and beautiful. This is just one little corner down the street that I live on at the moment. How lucky am I? I am so lucky to live the life that I lead. So very sad to be leaving Valencia here today. Come add it into your bucket list. Um, and a beautiful beach too, must say that. There's huge, probably one of the widest beaches I've ever seen in my life. And I'm from Australia, there's a lot of wide beaches. This is a big white, white sandy beach with all sporting gear on it. And there's a, there's a huge park that runs around with all sporting equipment in it and, and one of the biggest aquariums in Europe. And oh, it's just a beautiful city. Come visit guys, um, simplylive.com.au. Check it out, subscribe, share this around. Tell people, come to Valencia. I mean, oh my goodness, it is just, can you see this? Like, seriously, but it's beautiful Spain. And I'm very sad to be leaving here today, but excited to be heading to Portugal. Have a great day, guys.